Thanks for joining me today. This is Iron Ore, and today I will show you guys the five best ways to get acid uh, for the game. Now you're asking why acid? Acid is going to be very useful for your end game. It's going to be good for your Tunson ingot, make Tunson ingot to upgrade your weapon, to upgrade to get some, um, you know, some better bullets if you're looking to get some bullets, and to make some of the end game gear. So to get right into it, um, stick around to the very last one. The very last one, you guys are going to be like. Um, it's, I haven't found a really, really good location where they explained it very well. So I'm going to make it quick and easy and simple for you guys. So you guys can stick around till the last one and let's get right into it. All right. So for the first one, what we got going on, it's going to be very simple. You guys probably know this one. It's going to be if you go out throughout the world. So especially when you go down to your evergreen, the level 42, 40, the rifts you go down to those and you're gonna get a lot of, of acid from the zombies you gotta get um something they'll draw like four or five per per zombie so that's a good one um that one's really straightforward really easy to get uh make sure you're a higher level and for um for that that's gonna be an easy one for you guys to get for your number two for your number two um also you can get that also uh, the you can get that at the beginning or at the end it's gonna be doing the silos so we have a silo up here at a level 45 and that silo um it has a lot of zombies in it and you can get a lot of um a lot of acid with doing that so the silos are really good some of the events are also pretty good also there's another silo over here uh those are pretty good the events going on um pink balls up in the air um those ones are good events to get some too all right, so that will be your number two, and you can get that even at the beginning of the game. So that's going to help you guys out. Number three. Number three is going to be as you're looting and you're going throughout um, your business throughout the world and you're killing new missions, you come back and try and loot as much as you can. I cannot say this enough and stress about it enough to tell you guys this. Loot everything you can so you can go down to the assembly bench and assemble everything. Especially when you got all your scrap, assemble everything and you're going to get some of the acid. Now, the acid at the beginning of the game, you don't need that much acid. So try not to use as much as you can because you're going to need an end game. So try and conserve that if you can. Uh, I know you're going to need it for the gunpowder, but if you can't, uh, if you don't need to use it, uh, don't use it. OK, that's that's probably my uh, my advice to you guys on that one. Number four, um, this one is a passive one. This one's very, um, very important for you guys to know because you could just get some stuff and at the end of the game, just um, before you log off, you could just put it in there. And when you come back on, you're going to have a ton of acid. So that would be with your synthesis bench. Sorry if I said that wrong. But with your synthesis bench, you're going to be able to create some acid. So it's going to cost you some sulfur and it's going to cost you some of that energy link. But the energy link, there is a very easy way to get a lot of energy link. So if you guys are kind of bottlenecking with the energy link, leave me a comment down below and I'd be more than happy to let you guys know a trick to get a lot of energy link. All right. So that one there is really good. You can get quite a bit of acid with that one also. Point number five, I'm going to try to make this as simple as I can for you guys. Um, it's going to be another passive one that's very important for you guys. When you go down to the world, you're going to need to try to find out some contami contaminated water. Sorry about that. Contaminated water. Um, you can find it when it's a little bit gray or brown like this. Um, not this stuff right here. That's oil. That's oil spill. So make sure you get some from the contaminated water. Now, if you want to know if you are into contaminated water, if you look at your backpack, you see you have a number that's contaminated. Uh, contaminated. Sorry, I have a hard time saying that word. So if I walk away from there, my backpack has nothing. You see? So now if you're going right into it, my backpack is going to show a number. See, the start of pollution is getting worse. So that's also another way to find out if you are in a contaminated lo location. And you don't want to go too deep into, that's how you know, see, into the con contaminated water. But that's how you know you are um, in the contaminated water and location. So I put my base into the water. Now, if you go too far in, you're going to be, um, you're going to be in trouble with your sanity. So be careful with that. Back to Back to the acid, what you're going to need, you're going to need to go down to your cradle. Mimic, and you're going to have to go down to logistic, get the rainwater. You're going to need to get yourself water pumps. You're going to need yourself the water pump just over here, that water pump. Um, you're going to need yourself 
to unlock this. And then you're gonna need your you're gonna need the Omosis water purifier. You need that one. Okay. Now that one's very important because that's the one that's gonna make your acid. So um for that, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your power. You're also gonna need your uh, solar panels or what kind what kind of power you have. And what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to oh there's my truck in the water. Okay, so what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to grab the pumps. And you're gonna try to put it inside the water and you need to have it as high as you can it's got to be as high as you can because you want to use the water as gravity going down okay all the time so that way you don't have to transfer stuff and then it's gonna be a passive for you i need two okay the reason why i have two right now is because i am still dealing with power um i am not maxed on level i only have five of my solar panels they're connected together and i'm running other stuff so but if you're running a, like six or seven of those, you could easily daily make three to 400 um, acid a day. All right. So that being said, you make sure that your pumps are working. You wait for the timer, 45 seconds. And that one here, you have 43 seconds. And what it does, you connect your pipe and I got two separate water tanks. My first water tank, you get all the water. So you are, if you're collecting dirty water, do not worry about it because you will also get some polluted water the polluted water is what you are looking for so you're gonna grab the polluted water withdraw this withdraw that i'm gonna show you guys but this one here i had some then you're gonna connect your pipe if you go to building and connect your pipe from down there and i have two of those almost water purifier okay so i got two of those so i'm gonna access this and then what you're gonna need to do you're gonna need to put the polluted water in here and then every 43 seconds this is going to become it's going to become the impure acid now once you have the impure acid you grab the impure acid while we're here we're going to drop this over here okay so now we're making some of that impure acid let's take a look over here we'll that's some regular water we'll take that out and there we go so now we are making some more actually don't need that either probably put that right here There we go. We'll deposit 13 of it. So we are making some impure acid. Once you have the impure acid, what you're going to need also, you're going to need the brewing barrel. So the brewing barrel is going to be um, in your mimic. It's also going to be, it's going to be right down to where is the barrel? Right here, the brewing barrel. All right. So with the brewing barrel, what's nice is that you're going to put your impure acid in here, impure acid and pure water okay so now right now if you see i got three minutes and right now this is going to turn into acid so i'm going to grab this i'm going to put it in here now don't forget because for this it's going to be a two to one ratio so when you have 10 of the impure acid you'll be able to put it in here a lot of people are not explaining that correctly once you have 10 of these impure acid it will go in here so if you get one or two and it doesn't go in here do not worry it will go in here eventually okay uh and then you get the pure water the pure water i get that i get i'll get to that for you for in a second so i made two barrels i got two of each for now and my production is actually not pretty good so i got three minutes and we'll have some acid going over here so i'll put that in here deposit deposit in here and we have 80 we have the impure acid so i cannot put it because there's only six that's what i was just saying two seconds ago so it went i have 10 i'll be able to grab it and i'll be able to go put it in here all right so for now we're gonna leave it at this okay and while we're we're waiting for the um for the impure acid the two minutes mark i'm gonna show you how to make some pure water real quick okay compact water filter so what i do is i grab the water and have water in here dirty water from the bed the water tank you just saw a, a while ago uh grab the water from there and bring it over here i got myself some pure water so Always do this when you can uh, before you log off. So that's way it's, it's it's when you get back to your game, you're gonna have a lot sitting here just waiting. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit here for a minute. I'm not gonna make you wait, and I'm gonna just to prove to you that we are this it works. All right. So I'll be right back to show you guys. All right. So we're back. We got eight seconds left. So here is the two to one ratio that I was talking to you guys about earlier. Now watch. You got three, and then you're gonna see the acid pop up. Boom. See? You got yourself your acid. So then you go withdraw. And there you go. I hope this guy helped you guys out. 
If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment down below. Let me know what the, the question is. I'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Um, I hope this was simple. A lot of people are having a hard time trying to explain it. Don't forget to run your pipes at the right locations and your power. Everything needs power. So that's why I'm running short on power. So I got to figure out my, my power situation to have more income of it. And you know what? Enjoy upgrading your weapons, your armor, and your bullets. All right? And get out there and have some fun, you guys. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. It helps me a lot. Um, I'm putting out this to help you guys out for you guys are new out here in the game. Um, there's a lot more stuff coming out with the game. So thanks for coming out. And until next time, this is Arnor.